Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, our number x represents the product of these uh, huge numbers as you can see over here, whereas y represents the product of three numbers as well. And now we are going to find the value of x minus y, and we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these numbers x and y. And here I have copied them down. And if we look these numbers very closely, these numbers are almost same. The only difference is last two digits across the board. And now we can see if we add these two last numbers, 47 and 53, the average of these two numbers is going to be, if we add this one and divide it by two, it turns out to be 50. Likewise, this one is going to be 50 as well. And these last two digits, the average is going to be 50 once again. So therefore, to make our job easier, I am going to make an assumption. I'm going to say let uh, some number A is 87650. Then our this number could be written as A minus 3 because this number is 3 less than this A. And this next number could be written as a minus 1 and likewise this number could be written as a plus 4 and now let's focus on this number y this could be written as a plus 3 and likewise this number could be written as a plus 1 and this as a minus 4 then our this number x could be written as the product of a minus 3 times a minus 1 times a plus 4 as you can see over here. And likewise our this number y could be written as the product of uh, these three factors as you can see over here. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right hand side part of this uh, equation. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and multiply out all these three factors. Let's take care of these first two. So we are going to use the double distribution as you can see over here. And if we multiply them, we are going to get a times a is going to be a square minus 1a minus 3a and then plus 3 and then I'm going to write down this part as it is a plus 4 and now we are going to do the distribution once again like this one this this and finally this and this so let's go ahead and multiply them out so that's going to give us a cube plus 4 a square and here we can see this positive 4 a square and negative 4 a square they are gone and now if we combine this negative 16a plus 3a, we are going to get negative 13a. So therefore our this number x has been simplified to this polynomial. So therefore we can write x equals to a power 3 minus 13a plus 12. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And now let's focus on this right hand side of this equation. And here I have copied it down. And now we are going to multiply all these factors. And here we can see negative 4a squared and positive 4a squared, they are gone. And here if we combine these like terms, we are going to get negative 13a. Therefore, our this number y has been simplified to this polynomial. So therefore, we can write y equals to a cube minus 13 a minus 12. And now let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 2. 
And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of this x minus y. Now I am going to replace this x by this one polynomial and y by this polynomial. As you can see over here. And now we can see there's a negative sign before this parentheses. So I am going to distribute this one and it's going to change all the sign inside. And here's our very first part. I just wrote it down over here. And this part has simply become this one. And now we can see this a cubed and minus a cubed. They are gone. Negative 13a and positive 13a is gone. So 12 plus 12 is going to give us 24. So therefore our x minus y value turns out to be 24. So that's our simplified answer for x minus y turns out to be 24. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.